Dear Muji, I have been looking for a long time and now I think I have come to the point where seeking is not fruitful anymore and finding is what is needed. This is why I come to you. Not for intellectual knowledge or fancy words about reality, but to encounter my real self. Thank you for carrying the tradition of those clear and intense teachings. Robert from Toronto in Canada. I have been looking for a long time now and think and now I think I come to the point where seeking is not fruitful anymore and finding is what's needed. Mm. Yeah, because if you're a seeker you have to also be finder, no? You have to find something. You cannot always be just seeking, seeking, seeking. Also, is something not authentic about just seeking, seeking, seeking? There must, at some point, be some discovery. You have to be able to share your insights and your discoveries. No? <clears throat> so this is why I come to you, and not for intellectual knowledge, of course, uh, not for intellectual knowledge or fancy words about reality, but to encounter my real self. <coughs> So thank you for carrying the tradition of those clear and intense teachings. And then even I am not pointing that uh, I'm I'm not totally comfortable with the word only about teaching something, because I think teaching and learning they go together. And the learner is who, you see? Also. I think sometimes it is mm, very often this learning coming to the mind as well. And then if it's not swallowed into the heart, then it becomes some kind of philosophy or some kind of sophisticated kind of thing. And people seem to give a certain amount of importance or value to that even. But this is not the point here. For me, if it was going to boil down only to these type of verbal communications and intellectual convictions, it would just be phew, I would not have any any interest in that, you know. It would be just like sort of like going to a restaurant and just looking at the menu. Mm-hmm. So please come in, give me the menu. Okay, I like to have this. Oh, we don't have any. Just just enjoy the pictures. <laughs> 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 yeah, so of course this person is asking this person is asking only what any genuine person can ask. I don't want to just to hear about uh, you know or any philosophy or something. I want to put in your own words, you say, <clears throat> I, but to encounter my real self, you see. <clears throat> to encounter the self, if we use this language, to encounter or to recognize or something, you have to leave everything else for a moment. You know? Even just completely, we say, for a moment or whatever it means, to leave everything for, for now, leave everything aside, and don't engage the mind with any, <coughs> any steps to something for a moment. Which means then we have to discard or leave aside all collected knowledge, all the knowledge and assumptions about what truth is or should be and what you want, all this you have to leave aside for a moment. So the one becomes entirely empty. <clears throat> and only on that empty ground can a, a true seeing emerge. And this is not a, a dualistic seeing, it's not one thing seeing another thing even. Hmm? When when the when the objects of attention are, is not some phenomenon or some, some objective thing. And then something happens there. Something happens <coughs> mm, where the one time that the core somehow comprehends itself non-phenomenally, but only when it doesn't have 
some object to caress or to lean on. You know, something is everything is left aside now. Then somehow, the subject uh, <clears throat> is reflected to itself or something like that. But non phenomenally, so the mind is not going to be able to understand that. You see, <clears throat> we put a lot of emphasis on this kind of understanding, which is rooted in 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 dualistic functioning. You know, but there is another kind of perception. Hmm? That is earlier than uh, dualistic functioning, you see, much more innocent and ever fresh, you know. And it is missed because the attention tends to, just out of habit, it needs to connect with otherness, you see. 